Today is Walk by Faith Wednesday, and we will be studying gentleness of heart, so please stay tuned. Welcome to The Bold Encourager. I'm Rebecca. Today is Walk by Faith Wednesday. If you're new to my channel, please do hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. It just allows for me to get my positive, encouraging messages out to everyone. So today we are continuing the study of the fruit of the Spirit, and we will be studying the gentleness of heart. So we got to start with the first verse we always start with, and that is Galatians 5, 22 through 23, the Passion Translation. But the fruit produced by the Holy Spirit within you is divine love in all its varied expressions, joy that overflows, peace that subdues, patience that endures, kindness in action, a life full of virtue, faith that prevails, gentleness of heart, and strength of spirit. Never set the law above these qualities, for they are meant to be limitless. Always a great verse to start with. We are studying the fruit of the Spirit, so we must start with that, right? But it always just... Every time I read it, I just feel something about it. I, I'm really connected to this verse, so I'm really happy that we're studying the fruit of the Spirit. We've made it this far, so thank you so much for sticking with me if you continue through the study. I really do appreciate your support. So, let's talk about gentleness of heart. And let's start with verse Matthew 5.5, 5, the Passion Translation. What blessing comes to you when gentleness lives in you? For you will inherit the earth. Wow, so when you have a gentleness of heart, blessings come from that. And that is what this, this verse is saying, is you get blessings from this. You know, so it's, it's a gift to have a gentleness of heart. Another word for gentleness of heart is meek. So when you hear the meek will inherit the earth, that's what that verse is talking about. Gentleness of heart. So what does it mean to inherit the earth? It means to have power to bring conditions of life into harmony and truth. So we live on this earth and we have the power to bring life to harmony and truth in on this earth when we have a gentleness of heart. Because uh, people respond to that. You know, when you have a gentle heart, they respond to that. That That's something that moves people. So a lot of times we can be harsh and you know, unforgiving and not be gentle with other people's hearts. And that is not the way we're supposed to be. The, the fruit of the Spirit is to be gentle with people. We need to be truthful, but gentle at the same time. And there's a, there's a balance to it. <laughs> I know there's a lot of these verses, and it makes it sound like you can't say anything if you're Christian. That's not true. There's a way to go about it, and the fruit of the Spirit will show you how to do it. The Holy Spirit will show you how to do it. And if you allow the fruit of the Spirit in your heart, you'll be able to be balanced in all these areas to do that. So let's continue to Matthew eleven twenty nine, the Passion Translation. Simply join your life with mine. Learn my ways and you'll discover that I am gentle, humble, easy to please. You'll find refreshment and rest in me. And that is Jesus speaking. What we can gather from this verse is Jesus' ways are gentle. So that means that we have to be gentle. Our ways need to be gentle, just like Jesus. We can also see that it's refreshing to be in the presence of gentleness and humility. An instance of is Jesus is a great example of that. He was very gentle, but he was very truthful. He was very humble. He did everything right. He had the right balance, so we need to mimic Jesus. The person I have in my life that has this is my mom. She's always been very gentle, but very straightforward at the same time. And she's very humble. So she's the way she speaks, even if she's very direct with you, it's not harsh. It's very real, but also very gentle. And that's the way we need to be with each other. So I know it's all about balance, but you know, the Holy Spirit can make it happen. So let's continue to Titus 3 2, the Passion Translation. And remind them to never tear down anyone with their words or quarrel, but instead be considerate, humble, and courteous to everyone. So, we are not to tear down anyone. And it's like, ah, 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 ah. don't even make an excuse about why you're tearing someone down or why you're being mean to someone. The Bible says right here that we can't tear anyone down, regardless of who they are. So, 
we not we can't tear anyone down and we can't argue with anyone so everybody that's on Facebook arguing with someone stop <laughs> that is not what we're supposed to do we are not to be argumentative that is not from the Holy Spirit and that is not from God you may not agree with someone and that's okay you know you have your opinions and that's fine but it doesn't mean that you need to stir up some kind of argument with someone else it's not worth it and we are to be people that don't argue and that we don't and we need to be gentle you know we need to not tear anyone down you can state a fact you can state truth without doing that you can be very direct without tearing someone down or arguing with them and when it's said and done just walk away you don't have to continue the discussion it's done but there is a way to be gentle and speak your truth and so uh, the verse is very clear. We are to be gentle and kind to everyone. It doesn't matter if they're your enemy, your friend, your family, your foe. It doesn't matter. We got to be gentle and kind to everyone. It is our mission to really reflect what the fruit of the Spirit is every day, everywhere we go. So being gentle is one huge responsibility that we have on us. And we do not know the battles that people face. So we have to be those kind of people. So Matthew 18, 4, the Passion Translation. Whoever continually humbles himself to become like this gentle child is the greatest one in heaven's kingdom realm. So Jesus is speaking here. He wants us to be gentle like children, like a child. Children, children are more gentle than we are when they have more of a gentle heart because they have not been let's just say a lot of times when you're an adult you have some kind of resentment and you've been tarnished and you can have been corrupted but as a child you have this gentleness of heart you're not looking to hurt people so you're able to be gentle whereas with um, an adult sometimes you have a harder time being gentle so it's important to be gentle like children and that is something we are rewarded with in heaven it have, when we get to heaven, there's a huge reward for being gentle like children. It even says, Jesus said it very clearly, whoever continually humbles himself to become like this gentle child is the greatest one in heaven's kingdom realm. He said you're the greatest one when you're like a child. And that says there's a reward in heaven. So keep that in mind. Okay, we're going to go to 1 Corinthians 4.13, the Passion Translation. When we are slandered incessantly, we are always to answer gently, ready to reconcile. Even now, in the world's opinion, we are nothing but filth and the lowest scum. Ouch, right? The world looks at us as we're nothing, because we are Christians. But even when they are doing the wrong thing and slandering us, we need to be the people that answer gently. We cannot answer back with slander because we're just being like just like them and we cannot be like them to the world we are the lowest but to God we're amazing <laughs> we're the highest but you gotta remember Jesus was treated the same way so as Christians we have to be those people that are not ple about pleasing the world but we are about pleasing God we need to be those kind of people that please God and not please the world so as hard as it may be that is our mission that is our what we're supposed to do as christians and we cannot be like the world so no more slander no more arguing on facebook that is not our job our job is to be representatives of christ and that means having a gentle heart we can speak our truth without arguing and without putting people down and without putting out slander and that is the truth. <laughs> See, I'm saying it to you. I'm speaking the truth, but I'm not being harsh with you. I'm being gentle with you because I know that that is what comes with the fruit of the Spirit. And that's what I want for you too. And it's been a, it's, all of this has been a battle in my own life. I struggle with these things. Like I said, I am far from perfect. I am just like you. This is a continued struggle for me. And I'm trying my best to get better with all these things that I'm talking to you about. Because I too want to live the life that speaks volumes to the world. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Let's finish with a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this Fruit of the Spirit study. It is just 
helping us grow so much so in our walk with you and i appreciate all that you give us in your word lord it's so so me we are so blessed to have this tool to be able to speak to you and hear from you every single day lord i just pray that our hearts will be gentle that they will be not harsh we may not be hardened by the world and lord may we just be vessels of your goodness and we share with the world how to be gentle so that their hearts will be turned to you in jesus name amen well i hope you enjoyed this study and if you did please do give it a big thumbs up also please comment down below what your favorite verse was every wednesday at 1 p.m pacific standard time i will post a new walk by faith wednesday so please do catch those we're almost to the end of this Fruit of the Spirit study. So you don't want to miss it. We got one more to go. And then after that, we're going to be studying Hebrews. So good stuff. Also, if you haven't followed me on social media, please follow me on social media. I'm at The Bold Encourager on Facebook, Instagram, Parlor, and Rumble. Well, I hope you have an amazing day. And I hope you stay encouraged.